What's up my loves? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your buddy Vash. You can follow me on my socials. Basically follow me on Instagram at dollar sign bay. Follow me on TikTok at dollar sign bay. Follow me on Snapchat at dollar sign bay. So without further ado, first of all, subscribe, subscribe, keep subscribing to the channel. To go road to, I guess five, I don't know, but we are almost 5.30. So let's run it up anyway so basically if you are actually if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe if you're a returning subscriber welcome back anyway so today we're going to be talking about kevin boyer i'm going to you know backtrack and newelize like history okay so kevin boyer is a nairobi man who has a girlfriend who resides at kwale and so apparently um it was her birthday and she did not he did not wish him uh, he did not wish her sorry he did not wish her a happy birthday he just went to surprise his girlfriend to Kual in kwale and yeah basically maybe the girlfriend thought that he had forgotten about her birthday so apparently he did buy flowers and all that and he did post it on social media so yeah a lot of people were very concerned the fact that he did reach kwale and he never said anything so people were actually um twitter like on twitter people were you know tweeting to safaricom they were also like saying people to go you know to report to the dci because like where is this guy like it's been four days he has not spoken up like because people were so invested in the story people wanted to know like you know was it like did, did was it successful was it successful or was it not successful so anyway yeah um apparently today um at around 11 10 in the morning he did respond and he was like um everything is okay but he did come with back with the flowers and he did say that you know we should like the outside appearance we should not just look at him like that because i think i don't know honestly he might be cloud chasing because he wasn't even crying okay he wasn't even crying he wasn't showing any type of emotion uh, a sad emotion he was just like normal and actually he did say people not to <clears throat> perceive him like that because he he's going to like come and like let us know the full story about what happened in Kwale but anyway hmm, Kenyans have money so as we all know Ali Nur Mohammed um apparently he was all, also invested in this story I think we all we all were yeah especially the fact that he did not say anything at that time so Ali Nur has offered a, a has offered him a fully booked and paid and he's going with a flight, by the way, like to Dubai, a vacation to Dubai. And then on top of that, he's offered him 700,000 Kenyan shillings. Like, oh my God. <laughs> like, what? No, no. Anyway, that guy just got lucky like that, for real. So I don't know if this, I don't know if he's faking it or it's something factual. This, all this is just like allegedly. So comment down below and let me know what do you guys think like yeah and like if you were to be given 700k right now what would you do so anyway don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you know what i'm out we out period